Hi everyone, welcome back to my next quote to guide your life by. Today we have a short little quote from a man named Neil Donald Walsh. He said, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. And you know that's, that's really short. I mean, there's short and sweet. But uh, like I've said before, very, very powerful. If you live in your, your life, in your comfort zone, then you aren't really living. You've just allowed yourself to be backed into a corner that's comfortable and it's easy, uh, no risk, no chances, no troubles, just ah, pleasant. The problem is that's not living. Humans never lived that way ever in human history. In fact, let me, let me make a comparison here. Who are the only humans who never face discomfort, that never face hardship, that never struggle? Uh, dead ones. <laughs> that's who. That's the only ones. People in the grave, they don't ever get out of their comfort zone. They're always just as comfortable as they are right now. Life's easy and sweet. Or prisoners. Think about that. Someone in a prison where uh, they never have to struggle to get their next meal. Now, I know there's always power struggles in prison, and so that's not very easy. But, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about your next meal. You don't have to make decisions. Um, but that's not what life was supposed to be. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. And th there's no difference between a comfort zone and a rut. A rut just means you've gotten into this routine, into this habit, you do these same things every day. I get up, I go to work, I come home eat, I go to sleep, what happens the next day? I get up, I go to work, I come home eat, I go to sleep. What happens the next day? I get up, I go to work, I come home, I go to sleep, I eat, I go to sleep. That's your life. That's a comfort zone, isn't it? It's very comfortable. You know exactly what today, what you're gonna to do tomorrow, and the next day, and next year, and the year after, and the decade after, and for the next 20, 30 years. It's very comfortable. You're not living. Uh, life begins at the end of your comfort zone until you are ready in some way to break out of your comfort zone, you're not living. Uh, there's no risk, there's no adventure, there's no life in your life. That's how you end up looking at back at the end of your life and saying, I never lived. I was always comfortable. I was always in this pleasant little rut. I was in a little prison of my own making, but I never lived. And I'm not saying it's all or nothing. It has to be all out discomfort all the time, huge risk, enormous chances. You could slowly ease your way into it. Uh, just step out of your comfort zone, little by little, day by day, week by week. But at some point, you have to make the decision, uh, if I'm going to be fully alive, I'm getting out of my comfort zone, and I'm going to go all out and, and live. Because it's just a semi-comatose life so you, you, right now you're comatose. Most of you right now, you're watching this video because you're in a coma, going through your zombies, going through the routines, looking for more flesh to eat. Literally, for a lot of us, just more animals to eat, house to cook them in. Um, and that's not a life. It really is not. And you're here because you want to live vicariously through my my channel or or other YouTube's channels. There's a lot of probably you watch a lot of YouTubers' channels because you want to pretend you have a life. And even if you can't have a life, you can't break out of your comfort zone. You want to at least see someone do it. You want to imagine you were doing it. I could imagine that was me. That was me just driving down the road, you know, going somewhere. Uh, I'm not going anywhere, but he's going somewhere. I'll live through him. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. So start to stretch it. Start to push up against it. It's a little box, a little rut, a little coffin, a little grave. And you can uh, slowly, steadily push up against it. Expand it. 
make it bigger. Make your comfort zone a little bigger all the time. And as you make it bigger, your ability to expand it and get outside of it increases. And eventually, you might very well find yourself actually living your life outside of your comfort zone. But it's, it could be a daily process. Just start. Start somewhere. Find some way to break out of your comfort zone and live this week, this month. Start planning. How am I going to get out of my comfort zone today, tomorrow, this week, whenever, and do it? Don't just talk about it. Don't dream about it. Don't watch more videos about it. Watch some videos about it because that's going to help you do it. Uh, buy a minivan. I mean, it could be as simple as, you don't even have to buy a minivan. You've got a car, buy a sleeping bag and a tent. Go camping. Start a fire, sit around the fire. Join a meetup group that goes camping. Find friends that hike. Find friends that go camping, camping and backpacking. Get out there. Stretch your comfort zone some small way this week and get out there and live. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. And you got to start waking up. If you're in your coma, you got to start waking up. You got to flutter your eyes. You got to wiggle your toes. You got to finally open your eyes. And you can do it one step at a time by breaking out of your comfort zone and expanding it constantly and making it bigger and better and more powerful. Okay, I hope you'll do that. I hope you will decide to live by breaking out of your comfort zone. Hope you got something out of this video, folks. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you on the next quote to guide your life by. See you then.